Hey guys, all right, it is time for this week's meal plan. I am really excited to tell you one more small change that I have decided to make uh, given the crazy times that we are living in. Now, if you've watched yesterday's grocery haul video, you know that this week we have stayed under budget and I do think part of that is coming into play with this change that I am making to our meal plan. This week's grocery haul, let me really quick show you last week's. So if you guys remember, because it was a holiday week and because of Easter, this was almost double the amount of stuff written on here. We had homemade pizzas, taco style lentils and rice, egg sandwiches, shepherd's pie, tater tot casserole, take and bake pizza, biscuits and gravy, pigs in a blanket, uh, Pioneer Woman chicken dish, BLTs, and branding potatoes. Now, as you can tell, everything crossed off means that that is something that we did eat this last week. So we did eat a total of seven. So guys, I mean, that, that's what we're shooting for right now is a home cooked meal every single day. Crazy times call for it. And so I'm not getting that one to two day grace anymore so much. Um, and then we are eating more of those leftovers for lunch and things like that. And if there's a child who doesn't want one of these meals, then they are more likely to get leftovers of a previous meal that they would eat than any of those freezer foods. Uh, so we're not buying as much of that. Again, that's the goal. Reduce some of that consumption so that we can reduce some of our expenses. Okay guys, so that's everything we ate. As you can tell, there's a few things on there that we didn't. Uh, the homemade pizzas, the shepherd's pie, the biscuits and gravy, and the Pioneer Woman chicken dish. So there's four dishes. Now, I'm gonna flip the page here and show you what I have written for next week's meal plan. You guys are not saying wrong, it is blank. Now the reason it is blank is because, as I mentioned before, when we're doing our grocery haul and stuff, what I'm trying to do is really work more so through what we actively have on hand and just replenish that stuff rather than trying to find the things I need to make meals. If we were a smaller family, it would be more doable to do that, but trying to feed nine people, especially with the food allergies that we have, I can't rely on just what happens to be available at the store. I have to know what I have to make enough food to feed this many people. So what I decided I'm going to do uh, going forward from this point, since there's an average of four to five weeks in most months, I can fit three weeks on a page and then I'm going to do exactly this. I'm gonna come back up through here. So rather than just transferring stuff to the next week, unless I know we're actually going to make it. So uh, like when I made the stuffed peppers, if I didn't truly get into them in the first week, but the peppers were still good and I could make them the next week, obviously I'm gonna move stuff along. And this may end up requiring that I rearrange how I write stuff rather than by the week. But this week what I'm doing is I'm coming back through and the stuff that's written on here, so, you know, you can see I've got chili written twice because I moved it from the first week down to the second week. Um, taco style lentils and rice, which we did eat. I crossed it off up here too because we ended up doing that. Uh, now the tricky part for me is going to be remembering what was not eaten. So maybe I need to put a mark next to it or something. So on that fourth week, when I come, come in here to do this meal plan, I can show you guys that we have completed all of those meals. Now, there's still gonna be things, um, you know, the curry over rice, the veggie pie, so some of that stuff that I'm not sure everybody's gonna eat. So we're gonna have to play with that a little bit. I had originally written those down three weeks ago, thinking that uh, if I couldn't come up with something else or we couldn't find the right ingredients, those would meal be meals that we would have. So this is gonna take some tweaking, but again, there's really no reason not to make the things that were already on the list that we have the stuff for. Now, I will point out last week we had quesadillas written on there. That was kind of a hopeful, I'm not sure why I wrote it in the planned column. I think we had a little bit of chicken in the fridge. It ended up getting used for something else. So we didn't have the chicken for the quesadillas. Now I do wanna say there was one night, but I don't remember which week it was, that uh, Sean and the kids just had cheese and barbecue quesadillas. Uh, it's just cheese quesadillas. So, I guess technically that could be marked off. So this is gonna be a little bit of trial and error. We're all still trying to work through this. And you know what guys? <laughs> I'm gonna have this perfected right about the time life gets back to some sort of semblance of normal or we shift again and have to figure out another whole new normal. 
soon as I figure out my own one within this. So there it is. Uh, I don't have anything new written because I'm going to go through and make the things that I did not previously make. Now counting those up, not counting the chili twice. We have one, two, three. Uh, the quesadillas, I'll go ahead and count that. So four, five, six, seven, eight. So technically there are eight meals on there. Um, I guess that's also something I should have counted before I jumped into all of this. Uh, it would have actually been nine, but we made the tater tot casserole tonight, which is technically on this meal plan. So I've got nine meals at that right then to choose from to kind of work through some of this. So that curry over rice or the veggie pie, I can easily cross off the list. Um, now, over the next three weeks, I'm probably not gonna have a big bolster week like the holiday one that we had here. So I don't know if I'll have as many meals left over that didn't get made. Uh, so that one, I'll play by ear again. Trial and error. We're figuring all this out together. And I really, you know, I hope that by me working through this process, that it is helping anyone, even just one of you, to figure out this process for yourself as well and get some ideas, maybe watch my mistakes and do it better for your guy, your household, however many people that feeds, just however it all works and whatever you have access to. So there it is. That's the meal plan. That is my plan for this week. We're flying by the seat of our pants. It actually feels a little disjointed and not as planned as it should be. So we'll see if I have to come up with something else for next week. I'll let you guys know at that video though. I have no idea if I'm going to have a recipe video up for you guys later this week. Uh, if I make one of those that I have not previously done a recipe of, I might try to get one done. I thought about doing a recipe tonight for the tater tot casserole. I just didn't have time and my phone was charging. So that ended up becoming not an option tonight. Uh, so we'll see. If so, I try to do that Thursday or Friday. I know this last week it ended up posting on Saturday and that was huge flub on my part because I tried posting the previous stuffed pepper recipe a second time apparently and walked away before realizing that um, YouTube had rejected it because it was already posted. So thank you YouTube for catching that kind of stuff because I was apparently having a very off day and it yeah, it was a huge process then to get the correct video, the taco style lentils and rice up. But there's several people who seem to like it or like the idea of it. And I can't wait to hear how many other people try it and if it works out for them. And there it is. So in the meantime, I hope that you guys are having a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything coming up next. And I'll see you in the next one.